guys here for another video and today we're going to be looking at someone named Mariah Mills, very big fan of her back in the day obviously. Uh, with porn right there's always the next new girl so there's usually like a cycle of girls like oh you're probably fascinated by this like girl for like uh, maybe let's say like a year, new one comes out, recycle, cycle, rotate, all those things. So uh, again big fan of her back in the day. I thought she was honestly dead. I haven't heard of her in a long time. This was a request that someone made. I saw her and I'm like whoa! I'm glad she's still alive. I swear to God, I, I, I swear to you, I thought I saw the news that she got like shot or something, but hey, I guess she didn't. She's still alive and here we are today. So that being said, uh, we're gonna do again the usual rundown, go over her social media and then dive right into her OnlyFans. Now with her, uh, I am gonna be a little bit more critical because obviously, and I always say this with porn stars, um, if they have a shit ton of content online, if they have a terabyte of content online, if they have 20 years of taking dick up the ass online, pause, not 20 years because she's in her 30s and she would have been 12 taking dick and that would have been child porn. What I mean to say is that if there's a large catalog online uh, that exists that's pretty good, uh, that has full scenes and stuff, really, why would I get your OnlyFans, right? Your OnlyFans should offer probably a more unique experience than what the free content is out there, or maybe that free content gets deleted and it makes her OnlyFans more exclusive because she starts re-releasing that content or maybe even uh, doing a lot more, uh, you know, new photo shoots. I think Lana Rhodes does that now where she actually does like a lot more uh, porno shoots within her OnlyFans and not outside of that. So if I sound a little racist, that's why, because I'm gonna be bashing on her and because she's colored, some people and be like oh you don't like her because she's black that is wrong <laughs> in fact the best blowjob i ever got was from a black woman so shout out to her i mean well, god damn what was her name brianna or something like that uh shout out to brianna taylor I, she, I did not get my dick sucked by her but you know again horrible jokes uh all in all so let's just dive right into the social media and then just go into her only fans now obviously for those who don't know moriah mills Typical porn star, she's been doing it for quite a while. You can find a lot of her scenes online, uh, but she also does a couple other things, right? She has a YouTube channel, uh, and she also has a Twitter. Definitely look at the Twitter. She does promote a lot of her OnlyFans through that. Look at the media that she offers through there. Now, obviously, and you know, you might not even tell, be able to tell if they're leaks or not, but you can find a majority of her leaks on her OnlyFans online, by the way. So, uh, I'm glad to do a review, but I'm just saying, if you do a little bit of Googling, you might save the time from watching this video and, uh, you know, just save some money overall. Now, she does do a little bit of YouTube. She hasn't done YouTube in a while, so I was like, you know what? I haven't I haven't heard of her in a while. I literally thought she was dead. Let's see how she was doing and saw some of her videos, and it was quite interesting just to see a little bit of her background. Honestly, she seems like she's going to be single forever. It's just, uh, she's one of those girls, and I dated a girl like this that's very, like, uh, Oh my gosh, need to get my my face or hair waxed. Oh my gosh, I need to do this. Oh my gosh, it's just like, she seems like she brings a lot of trouble on the side. But hey, if you guys want to see a little bit more of her content, check out our YouTube. But honestly, uh, there's just not much that goes along with it. And like I said earlier, definitely look at her Twitter. I think it's a pretty good indicator of what her OnlyFans is. But again, as I said earlier, she is a porn star. So we already have an expectation of what her OnlyFans should have, right? If she's sucking dick or she's taking like 20 dicks in an hour, maybe 50,000 dicks in a photo shoot, and she releases an OnlyFans, you probably expect to see that type of similar content, right? It doesn't make sense that she releases an OnlyFans and she's suddenly reading the fucking Bible, right? Again, doesn't make sense. So that being said, let's just get right into her OnlyFans. So it is $8 per month. I would say $5 to $15 is a pretty good price. Right when you get it, it says, Welcome, thanks for coming. Daddy, are you ready to come tonight? Join now, said every single OnlyFans girl. That line, Daddy, are you ready to come tonight with like the come word? Uh, again, super, super generic. Nothing too special. Welcome to Mariah Mills Uncut. I... I mean, how uncut can it get, right? I think we've seen you take anal by three different dicks. Probably suck a donkey dick here and there. Again, that's a joke, by the way. I'm just saying, just we've seen all the X-rated content, so I don't really see how Triple X can go into Quadra X, Deca X. If there's something more uncut, please let me know. But again, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, I think we've seen everything uncut as it can be. Keep up with Mariah 24 hours daily updates, exclusive uploads, DM me now. Tips are the best way to spoil me. AKA, uh, you guys are my ATM and I don't really care about getting to know you. Live BTS behind the scenes footage, enjoy the daily show. 12 month package comes with a free squirt video. Now overall, if the bio's good or not, uh, I wish it was a little bit more specific and I say this all the time, it doesn't, it, it's just a couple bullet points, right? 
Blow jobs, yes or no. Taking dick up the ass, yes or no. Foot jobs, yes or no. Tit jobs, yes or no. So many fucking jobs. She sounds. She looks like the fucking government, right? Half of these people uh, <laughs> should run for politicians from all the jobs they t uh, do, right? But she doesn't really list any of that. One thing that was a little bit of a red flag for me was uh, keep up with Mariah 24 hour daily updates. When I see that, and I see this with other girls, right? They have the little green thing and they're always online, and you're like, well, that's strange. I mean, she working overtime? This, this is amazing. Her work effort is impenetrable. It's amazing. But the, the you know, typical case is that they have some sort of management agency or a couple people working for them, and they're the ones that are you're talking to, right? Andrew and Tristan Tate did this. They kind of laid out the full outline of what a lot of people do. Trust me, more people than you think uh, <laughs> know do this. Well, they'll have their boyfriend, their husband, or they'll hire some people, uh, their friends, just be like, all right, just act like me. And if there's a video that they want, just, uh, you know, compile the list of videos, say thank you, I'll send you the video. They t send me the request, I do the request. And again, they're not the ones talking because honestly, it doesn't make sense. And I know it sounds fucked up, but when you're really, 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 really famous, right, and you have millions of dollars, it just doesn't make sense to make that much time for the people that are supporting you not because you don't appreciate them but it's honestly you have to think about life right time is more finite than money right so why would you spend a lot more time than you need to when you're you know i highly doubt that the amount of money that you're making is a huge difference to kind of like change your life for that but overall description kind of shitty i just wish it was a little bit more descriptive now in terms of number she has 1204 photos and 383 videos now her OnlyFans honestly was extremely annoying. And you're like, well, what do you mean by that? So typically the way I look at all these OnlyFans, I go to all, I go to all the posts and then I look at the posts, post for post, uh, and then kind of uh, compile the videos through that. Of her, she just had so many pictures. It'd be like 20 pictures, 30 pictures, 40 pictures, 60 posts later, I might get a video. The video is three seconds long. So imagine doing that and trying to download, I use that in quotation marks, uh, all the videos so I can kind of get a good sample size to examine what I'm looking at. So again, I just wanted to lay that out there. Her posts, her interface, the way she actually does things is pretty annoying. Now in terms of pictures, 1,204 pictures, honestly, kind of fucking useless, right? You've been a porn star for multiple years. We've seen possibly everything about your body, right? Like, what are you going to surprise me with? Like, uh, honestly, please, I would love to see the logic of some of these girls that are like, you know what? Let me release my 1,100th and 99th nude like that's not life-changing that doesn't have much impact and it's just i know it sounds fucked up but you know we're objectifying you because you're objectifying yourself right you're sexualizing yourself and we're kind of looking at you the same way people build tolerance and then they move on again personally cool if you want to see nudes of her you're gonna get that if you want to see her wear different outfits you're gonna get that but honestly the pictures are pretty useless and garbage in my opinion now for the videos she does have 383 videos i only looked at 102 of them because honestly I try to only look at about like 25 to 35% of the sample size because I don't got time to watch all the fucking videos. So that's a little bit of a heads up. And also when the person has very, very similar videos, right? Let's say I watch 50 videos and 50 of them are pretty much extremely fucking similar. I start going to sleep. I'm like, okay, obviously I'm getting the fucking pattern. Uh, 50 most recent videos are shitty. So it kind of makes sense to assume that the rest of her videos are shitty, right? It doesn't make sense that her recent videos are shit because as time goes on, your recent videos, AKA the newer videos should be getting better. That being said, off that sample size, the longest video was two minutes and 55 seconds, two minutes and 14, two minutes and six, minute, minute, 53 seconds, 53 seconds, and the majority of her videos do fall between the three to six second mark. Now, in terms of content, if you're expecting to see that porno triple X adult content that you're used to seeing on a porn hub that you're used to seeing in all these other adult sites, you're not getting any of that. A lot of the videos that she does have is very like, um, she's just showing off her body, showing off her pussy a little bit, doing a little dance. But again, a lot of her videos are really short. Like imagine a four second video of her shaking her ass, right? Imagine a five second video of her showing off her body. Imagine a seven second video of her showing off her outfit, right? It doesn't have as much impact as, uh, you know, maybe her getting piped out on Pornhub and you see the full 30 minute scene in four fucking K. Now, in terms of the videos, I would say they cater more towards uh, simps, right? Uh, people that are like obsessed with her. Uh, if you're expecting to see, again, the similar content that you do see in the other adult sites, you're not getting any of that. 
craziest thing you'll see is her feeling herself and doing a little bit of a dance and then you know maybe sucking a dildo here or there but again there is no at least from the sample size that i noticed and watch uh no other dick coming in so to say there ain't no guy trying to dick her down in fact in this this is the perfect example of the independent black woman shout out to rosa parks out there but again that is the summary of her videos last but not least she does offer a shit ton of videos and dms i'm not gonna go through all of them because it's so fucking much but i'll go through some of them just to give you guys an idea uh, right when you get it, it says welcome to my page what's your name i want to get to know you basic rule bolded tips are the best way to get into my heart again when someone says that it's like okay really like i get it she's trying to make money but if you're if there's like a normal fan out there that wants to get to know her you're not going to get to know her unless you spend a lot of money and you know maybe your actions and uh your reach out is genuine but in her case she just sees you as an atm bank and after you go on, it says, now you're ready for some action. Enjoy my juiciest bundle ever and watch my pussy, what my pussy is capable of. Want to play? I'll be waiting. No, thanks. I've seen what your pussy is capable of. Her pussy is like a fucking slinky. This shit has been stretched out for two foot goddamn long. Now, a couple of videos, eight minutes long, unlocked for $10. Alone pissing myself, oh, pleasing myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Error. That would have been bad if I said pissing. Can you get me extra wet daddy? Another video, eight minutes and 10 seconds, 10 bucks. Getting fucked hard by my fave machine. Shout out to technology, R2D2, you know, CB3, C3PO. Fantasizing and pounding on my wet ass pussy. Are you hard enough for me, daddy? Now, a lot of those videos, again, most of the videos that I saw when I was looking at the titles is just her fucking herself, her feeling herself. So, if you want to see that, if you want to see a lot of solo play, uh, you definitely might like that. And you're maybe willing to invest in the DMs. Now, overall, if your OnlyFans worth it or not, uh, it's, it's like I mentioned earlier, if you're expecting to see that Pornhub content, the X videos content, the really triple X, high quality, 8K, getting dicked down by Tyrone out there, you're not getting any of those videos. And in fact, I wish you would post on her bio like solo content majority or solo content only because everything that I saw was, uh, you know, only solo content. And maybe there's a video that I missed that wasn't in my sample size where she is getting dicked down. But the most recent videos and what she's offering currently in the DMs, she is not doing any type of BG or GG content in general. So overall, I think your OnlyFans is shit in my opinion. Again, if you're a simp and you're obsessed with her, you might like it. But as a normal average person, I do not think it's that good. So shout out to Mariah Mills. You used to be my favorite. Uh, I mean, you're in your 30s now so god bless i mean i think your time's up to be honest uh i hope you like um uh, find happiness in your life right uh, and you know uh, let, you know hope, hope the best for you in general so like always guys please leave a comment below for any suggestions google form description i do look at every single request obviously I, I read every single comment i know that some people are saying please don't make a request i will get to it it's just i'm behind and all this comes out of my pocket so your boy's got a budget he has to respect otherwise i'm gonna be just dumping and uh wasting all this money on only fans without much return because uh youtube has uh hit me in the kidney hard with that monetization so like always guys do appreciate you guys watching this video please hit that like button please rape the fucking sub button hopefully you get 20 trillion subs by the end of this year and if not i will kill myself later